got a couple hours for work, so I decided I'd uh, do some plein air painting. Uh, that's going to be my subject matter. I really like uh, old barns, old shacks, anything like that. So I'm going to try to do this in about a two-hour period. See if I can change my, my strategy for starting a painting. I'm going to keep it on a white, blank white canvas and just draw it in and lay in a couple layers. Acrylics are transparent in comparison to oils, so it might take a couple layers. Um, my setup, as you can see, oop, I'm on a little bit of a hill. Oop, careful now. <laughs> as you can see, it's just simple setup, uh, simple uh, aluminum easel. Got a little shelf on there with a wet palette or a wet paint palette. Got a rag. Um, I usually use water just to thin my products with, nothing really fancy. Uh, colors today is titanium white, uh, yellow light, yellow ochre, red light, kind of like a cad red light, cad red light hue, uh, magenta, ultramarine blue, phthalo green, and burnt sienna. Um, I have a variety of brushes here. Flats and, and brights, uh, 10 to 4, I think it is. And I have a number 2 for uh, line work. I just dropped a brush. Uh, I keep them in water because they're acrylic. And the heat, the acrylic dries really fast. And I've had acrylic brush, uh, acrylic paint destroy my brushes. There's my water. Um, got a spray bottle to keep my paint wet. 16 by 20 inch canvas. It's a little dirty, but we'll cut it off in a second. Um, the setup from the side. You can kind of see I've got a bag that's got a rock in it to keep my uh, panel from blowing off or canvas from blowing off. I am in the direct sun, but I am wearing sunglasses, so I'm hoping that might help. And I'm working more with tone today than I am color. Um, I will uh, check in with you in a little bit and see how how it's progressing. Okay, I decided to change my uh, brain fart. Um, I decided from going from portrait to landscape. I think it might uh, block in things a little better. Get it? Did a simple block in. Uh, kind of had to readjust a few things, but we'll see how it progresses. Okay, so we're about two hours in. Um, I'm going to have to start packing up in a moment because I need to go to work. Um, I'll show you what I did in a moment. Um, today has been a lot warmer than my last couple attempts of painting plein air with acrylics. Um, my wet palette, I don't think it was as wet as it could have been. So, this is definitely a learning curve. Um... Let me see, uh, show you what I got started. Okay, there's a scene. This is what I got. I blocked in. Um, I think one thing that was more time consuming was color mixing. Trying to get the, the color I'm wanting just right. I'm still learning about how to get my greens to work, especially when you're using with one blue and one green. Um, and trying to get the values down pat. That was fun. Um, I still have a lot more to put into it, and uh, my basic uh, goal, I guess you could say, for today is to do block it in and get it going. I was wanting to block it in for the first hour and do more details in the second hour, but um, it's a, it's a little different than I was expecting. Um, this is my palette. There's some color is still wet, some color is drying. Um, using a spray bottle. Keep your wet, uh, acrylics wet is good. Um, I think one thing I needed to do is make sure that my my wet surface underneath my wet palette was soaked before I came out here. That way it kept everything moist underneath. Um, I think that was one of my problems with colors drying up a little bit. It's actually pretty cool right now. So as the weather gets warmer, I'm probably going to have more Difficulties keeping my, my paints wet longer and working with them uh, is going to be a little different. Uh, I did get some of the details going on the side of the uh, 
side of the building. I'm not quite sure if it's as light as I needed it to be. I can always, in the studio, I can always fix things up and kind of, I just don't want to over overdo it, over dabble it. All in all, I'd say today was a good day, very productive. I like the fact I covered the entire canvas, got something done. And there's my alarm clock to let me know that I have to uh, back up and get going. Um, so I'm going to pack all this up, head back to work, do my, my shift, and um, maybe I can show you guys the finished painting when it's done, or maybe even film some studio work. We'll see how things go. Bye. Oh, there's one thing I want to point out about my easel. Um, I'm short. I'm just uh just shy of five one, and this easel is really short. Uh, it was a simple twenty dollar easel I got from Walmart. Um, if you're tall, I'm not quite certain how well something like this would work for you. But uh, let me see if I can get a better shot of it for uh, me and the way I work and how tall I am. It seems to work wonderful, but I think anybody taller, you'd probably need something a bit more professional. I'd say get something from Blick or Jerry's Artorama so that it could uh, coincide with your height. But yeah, because I'm short, that thing works wonderful for me. Okay, y'all, today's day two. Um, I did a little bit of uh, work in the studio last night, and then I thought, you know what, since I do have some time today, I'm going to come out here and finish it. Um, Today's goal, uh, I want to finish getting, I want to get the trees in, um, see if I can simplify those where it doesn't look so amateurish, and then, uh, get the, uh, the highlights on the side of the barn, and then, um, probably finish up the, uh, the shadows and clean up the, um, the foreground probably, if I can, um. We'll see how things go. I'll check into you, uh, check in with you, um, in a little bit. Okay, y'all, uh, I think I finished it. Let's, uh, I'll show you the subject matter and I'll show you my finished painting. Right now, I'm in shadow. I was in sun for quite a while, but the sun's becoming behind a, uh, a tree, so I'm a little bit in shadow. Let me show you what I got. There's the tree, there's my subject matter, there's my painting. Uh, <laughs> the fun part was, one of the uh, challenges, um, it's not perfect, but one thing I'm starting to, to understand when it comes to trees, you want to paint in the mass of what you see and then do a couple of details and then from there, let it be because it'll show you more of what's going on than trying to do in the branches individually. That kind of worked out pretty good. Um, I want to show you right here, you can see the texture on the shack. That is uh, done with a palette knife or a painting knife. Painting knife, not a palette knife. Um, let me see if I can back up a little bit. I'm on a little bit of the hillside, so... Yeah, I think that really, that really turns, it looks pretty good. I might do a couple of touch-ups just to see if I can get some more light in there. Um, I don't know if my value range is as much as it should be, but right now I'm happy with it. Um, if I completed a plein air painting outside, I usually would start one and then get cold and then uh, get back in and just not really come back out and finish it so uh i'm not certain what the title is just yet i'm just i'm excited it's finished um i'll post the finished painting on social media after i get all the the little things that kind of bugs me done and over with so yeah all in all i'm happy um i think it's now it's starting to get to the uh to where i remember seeing it or where i was trying to get it to so um yeah See you guys in the next one.